Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Uh, this week we're going to head up to Hyde and show you Wave Rock. It's about a four hour drive from here. Janet's just about to come out that door as soon as she's finished work. Head up there, get there about 10 o'clock. Then we've got all day tomorrow to show you stuff. But for now, let's roll the intro. Oh, we made it. It's 10.30 at night. I'll give you a bit of a room tour tomorrow. But for now, we're going to go to sleep. Hello world. Ah, what a beautiful day. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. Just wandering over the office to get the Wi-Fi code. But look around here, guys. Just amazing. I'll put the... Um, I'll put the drone up in a minute. But for now, I'm just having a bit of a wander around. We arrived maybe 10.30 at night. We'd organised with the hotel. They put the key in the door. Just beautiful. And oh, we've been all through winter. Today's going to be 28 degrees. Getting a free tour of the Wave Rock, it's pretty good. Um, normally we like doing things on our own, we don't like bus tours, but the lady was really, really nice. This is such a beautiful area, guys. Amazing. Okay, let's do a bit of a room tour. Got the bathroom in here. Starting with, we've got the shower. This is a luxury room, they do have more basic, but this is a beautiful room. Spa here, and through to a separate toilet. Toilet here, and then there's a little window, which can be closed off, of course, to the bedroom. And now we go into the bedroom. Got a little bar kitchen in here, microwave. Fridge, kettle, coffee, tea and everything, toaster, then we've got the bed, again there's that window into the bathroom, one can be in the spa, one can be in bed chatting with each other, and then you've got your own little outside area, beautiful, beautiful rooms. What a beautiful day, it really is a beautiful day. We had breakfast, now we're just driving around Hyden. At lunchtime we're getting a free tour of Wave Rock on the bus. And so, that's from the motel owners. I've just been had the drone up doing a bit of filming, but it really is just a relaxing, beautiful part of the world. I'm glad we came up here this week. Hey, so now we're at the Wave Rock Caravan Park. It's maybe three or four k's out of Hyden. Wave Rock's just up the road here, uh, waiting for the bus. We don't usually do tours, like I said before, but we may as well do this, get it all explained to us. Right now, we're gonna go into the wildflower shop, have a bit of a look around. WA in spring is famous for its wildflowers, this part of WA anyway. People come from all around the world. The whole, as far as the eye can see, will be carpeted in flowers in another week or so. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you some of that, but for now, let's go and have a look at the shop. And now we're going to have a look through the Lace Museum. And now we're going into the little wildlife park. Um, 
I'm not really into wildlife parks and things, animals being caged, but these animals have been domesticated. They, if they were put back in the wild, it's a bit of a catch-22, but they are treated very well here, so let's go and have a look. Well, guys, I'm really, really surprised. I was expecting a tiny little thing of animals, but every time we turn a corner, there's another fence we can go through. This really is... Oh, emu. Hello, Mr. Emu. If you want to see some emus in the wild, check out my Following the Kalgoorlie Pipeline video. Well, that was well worth a look. The animals are all really happy, so they're obviously well looked after. And all the native animals, or most of them, are recovered from um, motor vehicle accidents and they're too injured to be returned to the wild. So they're giving them a home here. They're well looked after, happy animals. Now this isn't wave rock yet, this is the hippo yawn and I can imagine why it's called that but we'll go up and have a look. And this is what the whole weekend's about guys, the wave rock, the famous wave rock. Hey guys, uh, we're all packed, ready to go home. It's a bit sad, we've had a great weekend. If you get the chance to come up here, do it guys. They're such lovely, friendly people. They've set this place up so well. The whole area, whether you stay here, whether you stay at the caravan park or the resort, either way, you'll have a great time. So, we're gonna jump in the car, hit the road, but there's a lot of stuff to see on the way home because we drove up here at night time. We'll, um, We'll show you on the way back. Hey, all this yellow over here, it looks like canola. You, you'll remember the canola fields from our um, road trip, Esperance to Kalgoorlie. But this isn't, this is all wildflowers, all daisies. And this whole area is just yellow from this, it's amazing. West Australian wildflowers. Well, we've had beautiful weather. Beautiful, beautiful weather. If you can see out of there, it's pouring. I can hardly see in front of me with the windscreen wipers going full. But at least all the traffic's going really slow. It's not just me. Well, that was another fun weekend. I'll put links to everywhere we've been in the description as usual. And remember guys, this is a hard time for everyone, coronavirus and everything, so support your local tourism. Get out there, do day trips, do weekends away and give these guys a bit of support. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below. Give me a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.